introduce beats in fifth position, like entre chaque cut, royale, royale, change. Um, I always start with my students at the bar. It just gives them something to push on so that they have a little bit more time in the air. If you have more time in the air, then um, they're less likely to end up with the floppy uh, foot back and forth in your uh, hit their ankles type thing because they have a little bit more control over what they're doing. So I do let them um, use a bar. It's also great if you have two bars that you can put on either side and push this way. If you don't have that, that's fine too. Um, but what I do is we just start in fifth position and we start with just a susu in the air and really make sure that the susu is tight. We want to make sure that the legs are not tight with the feet sticking out like this. We want the feet to be nice and attached and closed. So we really want to find a nice sharp susu. They should feel their feet snapping together just a little bit, like that, okay? So I don't want this, I want boom, nice and sharp. The next step is we're gonna do three in a row, and then you're going to switch at the last minute for your royale change to switch feet. When you switch at the last minute, it should almost be like a surprise, okay? It is an unexpected ending. So you're going to do three susus in the air, and then on your last one, on your fourth one, right as you start to come down, quickly switch to the other side. So it will look one, two, three, four, switch. So we don't want that royale change to look da 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 da. We don't want it to be smooth and even. We want it to be susu and come down at the last one. We'll do the other side, and one, and two, and three, and switch. Once they're really, really comfortable with that, have them do it in the center without pushing on the bar. It's gonna speed things up and be a little bit more difficult. When it comes to actually doing your entre chicot, it's very, very easy once they get that susu and switch. It's a susu in the back, land in the front. I don't tell them to switch feet. I don't tell them to cross their feet in the air. If, if you think about susu, and your mind is on susu, it's just susu. It's very simple, it's very easy. They've done, by this point, they've done so many susus in the air, their body is just gonna go to it. Again, have them do it at the bar so they can really push, they have a little bit more time in the air, so it'll be a little bit slower than a regular entre chicot. And then once they're able to do that really comfortably, with nice sharp feet and strong susus, then you come center. Alternatively, if they're having a really difficult time coming from the bar to the center, you can do two fingers, and that gives them just a little bit more control, and it also makes sure that they're completely aligned. And then you can do one finger, and then you can come center.